Talk to me about batteries with the Quest 3, both in the headset and the controllers. Batteries in the headset? Yeah, and the controllers, like how long do they last, what type of battery, can you charge them while you're playing? Oh, right. Okay, so the headset itself um, is said to last about uh, two and a quarter to three hours based on how much, uh, how, how active the content that you are digesting is causing to drain the battery. So it's about a three hour battery life, maybe two and a half if you're gaming. Um, aside from that, so that's comparable with the Quest 2, so no real improvement there, but also it hasn't deteriorated, if not worse. And if you're like me, and you have an aging Quest 2, it feels like you're getting 30 or 40 percent more, because it's just a newer battery. Um, separate to that, the controllers are still both still a single AA battery. Uh, you can use rechargeables in there, you can use uh, alkaline, but uh, I would suggest Eneloop is my favorite company. I use Eneloops and I have been doing that for all of my quests so far. Uh, and the battery door compartment has a simple lock uh, to just help it improve beyond the previous model so it's never slipping off if you're playing Gorn or some particularly active uh, sports game. So that's the batteries.